experiment separation of plant pigments by thin layer chromatography so we know that the plant pigments are actually present along with water in the leaves so what we are doing is that we are using some mobile phase which is prepared with an organic solvent so that we are able to extract the plant pigments from the sample what we are taking the plants and then we are separating them by using the thin layer chromatography now in thin layer chromatography there are few requirements let us divide the three different sections first one is preparation of the thin layer chromatography plates now for making the experiment very simple today we have taken a glass plate that is a normal microscopic glass slide which has been cleaned thoroughly on both the sides make sure that there are no any water droplets or dust on the plates what we have taken after that you can arrange the plates how much ever you require accordingly you can take the number of slides and you can arrange them then you have to take take silica gel g so that is going to be the stationary phase silica gel g is g stands for gypsum that is calcium sulfate now the calcium sulfate that is present or in the silica gel is adhering the silica gel to the plate so that it will not run down when you are placing the plate inside the mobile phase so we are measuring about 10 grams of the silica gel g into a dry glass beaker so this is a silica gel g what we have it so for every 10 grams of the silica gel g we have to measure approximately 24 ml of the distilled water so dry beaker with a silica gel g and 25 24 ml of the distilled water has been taken now after that we have to pour the water into the silica gel g after that once you pour it make sure that you are going to mix it and prepare a plop proper slurry so this is how we mix it and make sure that it forms a very good slurry so make sure that when you are mixing it there are no any sort of going to be lumps inside the mixture so once you have prepared that one you can start to coat it so you can see that while coating the samples plates make sure that the coating is done by mixing the slurry properly and starting from one end of the plate it has been coated smoothly till the end of the tlc plate when you are coating it make sure that there are no any air bubbles in the plate when you are coating it and sure that all the sides are also been coated thoroughly with the silica gel g now make sure that the coating is done in such a way that approximately the thickness of the silica gel what we have coated is 2 mm in thickness so that makes the preparation of the tlc plates after coating all the plates leave it aside for 10 minutes so that air drying will take place and after it is completed we can transfer all the plates into the preheated oven set at 100 degree centigrade for 1 hour so that the plates becomes now activated the second one preparation of the sample so we have taken carrot and palak or spinach as the sample for today's experiment so few uh, grams of the leaves only the leaves you please take and small piece of a carrot has been diced into small pieces and has been transferred into the mortar and pestle so you can see that we have made it into a smooth paste with the help of a mortar and pestle in the um, in this equipment now what we are going to do is that to add little by little some amount of the extracting solvent now for today's experiment we have prepared the extracting solvent with isopropanol and acetone and ethanol in the ratio of 3 is to 1 is to 3 ratio so when you are adding this organic solvent that is extracting solvent the pigments which are being present on the leaves will be extracted out and collected into the uh, mortar and pestle so once we have ground it into a smooth paste we are transferring the contents of the uh, mortar and pestle into the epandrop tubes so you can see that we are getting different layers of the extract what we have collected here so on the top you can see the dark green color which is going to be the plant pigments which is present now in the organic solvent layer then you are having the aqueous layer which is nothing but the water with few of the components present and the debris because we are extracting it from the plant leaves and the carrot so some amount of debris is left over down 
So once you are transferring from the motor and vessel into the epidural tubes, let us do the centrifugation so that the layers get correctly separated and on the top will be the organic layer which is the sample or the solute which we can use it for our experiment. So for that one we are using a small equipment which is the microfuge present here. So we are placing the epidural tubes and then going to spin it for a span of just two minutes so that the the materials which are very heavy will be settling down and the layers get separated nicely into the aqueous layer and the organic layer where the organic layer will be having the material plant extract that is the plant pigment. So that is how we prepare the sample by using the extracting solvent and repeating the extracting solvent it is isopropanol acetone and ethanol in the ratio of 3 is to 1 is to 3. So now after spinning it for 5-10 minutes we can switch it off and later we can see that there is a clear layer of the supernatant obtained which will be the um, organic layer having the so you can see that we are having the organic layer containing the plant pigments a dark green color so this is another one extract what we have got it now this is the extract or the sample with which we are going to perform the exit so the mobile face has to be taken in a chamber so what we are doing in the mobile faces is benzene and acetone we have taken the ratio of 9 is to 1 ratio so remember that for thin layer photography to separate the plant pigments the mobile face is benzene and acetone in the ratio of 9 is to 1 so we have transferred the mobile phase, uh, what we have prepared in a bulk quantity into the TLC chamber which is nothing but a 100 ml small beaker which has been dried previously and covered with a petri dish cover so that there will be saturation of the mobile phase into the chamber. So this is the third step. So first step is preparing the TLC plates, second step is preparation of the sample and third step is the saturation of the chamber with the mobile phase. So we have done this step, we have finished, the beaker has already been saturated with the mobile phase. Now this is the TLC plate which we have coated earlier. You can see now that the silica gel G has been completely dried up and now I am going to spot the sample. That is the next step in our experiment. So as I told you we have taken the pigment, we have extracted it. So these are the micro capillary tubes what we have using here for the spotting of the sample. So, approximately 0.5 to 1 centimeter, you can measure the distance from one end of the TLC plate and take the sample and keep a spot in the form of a spot in the center, in the place where you want to spot the sample. So, a few distance from the bottom end of the plate, you do the spotting of the sample. You can observe that the volume I am slowly intensifying the concentration so that uh, the concentration of the sample will be more and you will be able to view the separated plant pigments very nicely or properly when you are separating them in the mobile phase. So I am just trying to keep in the same spotted area as many number of times only to intensify the concentration of the sample. So the spotting of the sample is being done now. The next step is going to place the spotted TLC plate into the chamber which we have saturated with the mobile phase. So hold at one end of the TLC plate and then we are going to open the chamber and place it inside the chamber where we are having the mobile phase that is benzene and acetone prepared with a ratio of 9 is to 1. Always take care that when you are placing the TLC plate inside the chamber the spotted area must be above the um, mobile face. So now we can see that um, mobile face. So now we can see that you can observe that the mobile face is now moving above and the first pigment which is the carotenoids orange in color is getting separated and it is moving along with the mobile face. So that is the principle of this thin layer chromatography. 
the sample the plant pigment which is having more affinity towards the mobile phase will be moving faster when compared to the sample which is having more affinity towards the stationary phase so you can observe that it's not even just a minute you can see that orange color pigment that is the carotenoids is getting separated out now so as the time is going on we can observe that slowly the chlorophyll pigments also will get separated out so this we have started just now you can see the adjacent chamber where we have placed all the spot earlier and you can see the samples which has been moved and got separated into various fractions so i am just removing and opening and showing it to you so i just opened the chamber i am removing the plate and you can now observe the pigments which are present here you can observe the first one this is the orange color it must be the carotenoids and very interestingly we have found one more ash color pigment we are finding one yellow color pigment here then the green grass and the blue green pigments which are separated in the tlc plate now always remember the moment you remove the tlc plate from the chamber please mark the solvent front which indicates the distance traveled by the mobile phase then to understand or calculate the rf value mark the center spot of the colors and then by using a scale from the spotted area measure the distance traveled by the solute for example if this is going to be the orange color as the first pigment carotenoids then from the spotted area the distance traveled by the orange color pigment is approximately 4.1 remember we have to measure the distance traveled by the solute only from the spotted area and not from the end of the tlc plate so like that for each and every pigment which you are able to observe mark a spot in the center of the color and then you measure the distance then what we can do continuation to this experiment is that we can scrap out this tlc plate where you are having the orange color transfer it into an ependroff tube add some volume of the acetone and extract the orange color pigment into the acetone layer and take it into a quartz cuvette and take the absorbance in the uv region because most of the plant pigments will have ultraviolet region and measuring the absorption maxima we are able to predict which are the plant pigments what we have separated by taking the sample as carrot as well as the palak as a sample for today's experiment thank you all